Meantime, Philadelphia police are still working to identify a substance that sent two officers to the hospital last night. The officers were exposed to that substance during a traffic stop. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Ryan is live from Central Detectives with the latest on the investigation. Cleve, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. Certainly has the makings of fentanyl exposure, but police awaiting the test results to find out exactly what substance caused the officers to become sick. This happened around 1030 last night around uh, 30th and Diamond Streets in the Strawberry Mansion section of the city. As police were searching a vehicle, it became apparent that two officers were having reactions to a substance. So other officers rushed them to Temple University Hospital. They were treated and able to go home. Now, if it was fentanyl, which has been known to make first responders severely ill, the outcome could have been much worse. It sure would be scary for anybody to be exposed to anything like that. I mean, officers are exposed to anything for any kind of car stop. We don't know what we're dealing with, so we always try to take the ultimate precautions. I said that fentanyl exposure is a common hazard now for first responders. The DEA puts out guidelines saying that at a minimum, people who encounter a powdery substance should be wearing gloves, dust mask, eye protection, and also some sort of disposable suit and have naloxin, also known as Narcan, nearby. We're live at Central Detectives. Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.